So you feel like you're not really good at anything in life. Well, welcome to like the majority of people because I'm pretty sure everyone feels that at some point of their life, you know? Um, being 20, you know, I feel like I don't really have any amazing skills, right? I do feel like I'm good in particular things, but I'm not crazy amazing. And I feel like a lot of people may feel the same way or lower than that, if anything, you know? Some people may feel like they can't do anything at all, like they can't achieve anything, which actually sucks to hear about because I guarantee you that's actually impossible. There is no way you are not at least good at one thing. And, um, like, it's just such a weird mindset to have, especially when you are young. Like, to say that you are not good at anything at a young age is kind of whack to say because you still have so much time to learn. And even if you're old, like, you still have time to learn. No one is saying you can't learn at an older age. It's not too late. You know what I'm saying? There's always time to be able to learn and to be able to find what you're really good at. So don't don't say that. Don't make any excuses because that, that's not going to slide here. You know, everyone has at least one thing they're good at, no matter what. You just have to find it. Okay. You can't be lazy. You got to put in the work in, do your research and try it. I think the biggest problem to why people don't do anything or try to explore their interests is due to analysis paralysis. I heard this on YouTube before. I'm not joking. It's a real thing. And it's just like you have so many options, right? Which is like what most people have in life. They have a lot of options presented and they just never go with one because they overthink it. They're like, okay, maybe I should try being a musician or maybe I should try being an actor or maybe I should try being a YouTuber, you know, three different options, maybe even more. And your, your head's going to spin so much that you don't even choose one. You just work a normal job and that's it. And you won't think to improve or learn or do anything because it seems too hard and you don't want to go into that field. That is the rabbit hole you're going to go into if you don't choose one thing and stick to it. I kind of believe you have to find a niche at first or at least try your best to go into something and see if it works out. You know, um, for me, I really thought I wasn't good at anything for the longest time. I thought I was the most mediocre person back in like high school. Like I would go to school, do my work, go home, play games, and that's it. And it's like you could kind of see there like what am I really doing with my life? You know, like I'm a teenager doing that. But I realized like I don't know why like it didn't clock in my head. I would make YouTube videos here and there. Yes, I didn't post consistently. Yes, I didn't upload all the time, but it was still a small little side project I really enjoyed doing. And, you know, over time, I realized that I genuinely enjoyed uploading videos. Even if I was yapping, I didn't really care. Like, it's just fun uploading it, you know, making the thumbnail, putting in the title, putting the tags, putting everything together, and then slowly seeing the comments pile up. Like, it was right in front of my face but I didn't see it like that because like, I just didn't open my eyes, you know? And the times when I would be thinking, is this my niche? Like, I would just be like, nah. And I would just kind of do my own thing, like do other stuff. And like, I would like just play games. I just hang out with friends. I don't know. And I would try to learn new skills, but I would just never commit to it. Just because like, I'm not, I'm not sticking to one thing. You got to just try one thing individually over time and actually put work into it to see if it will work. It's like if you, you know, you're doing a business, you can't make multiple products. You got to stick to one product, see if it works for, you know, a bit of time. And if it doesn't, you move to the next one. You don't just keep on making another one. Doesn't work. New one doesn't work. New one doesn't work. And do that within a short period of time. That makes no sense. You're not going to get success out of that. Right? So I guess I'm treating skills in life as, you know, take time learning each one and you know eventually you'll find one that you genuinely like and you know i'm making youtube videos now i'm trying to focus more on commentary videos talking about my life because i really like that niche a lot i like talking in front of a camera i like being able to press the record button and just talk about whatever the hell i want to talk about you know and eventually maybe you guys could do something 
you know, similar in that sense, you know, you could find something that you genuinely like. You just have to take the time out of your day to be alone, research, and experiment the hell out of whatever, whatever the hell you think you'll like, you know? There are so many possibilities. It's, it's impossible to say you can't find at least one thing you like, you know? Like, I don't know, like, save up some money and go rock climbing, you know, you know what I'm saying? Like, just do something very impulsive that you never would have thought you would want to do. And maybe you might like it because, hey, I did it out of nowhere because my friends suggested it and now I like rock climbing. I don't go often, but I like it. It's a niche I would like to go into. Volleyball, for example, as well. I wanted to play volleyball, but um, I never really pushed it onto anyone until they suggested it towards me a couple months ago. And now I'm playing volleyball almost every week. It's a routine I'm doing because I tried it out. And like over time, you will find more niches. Like it's not like you have to have only one niche and skill to feel good at something, you know? You will find something and you will improve upon it when you really like it, okay? You can't force yourself to like something Okay, you'll just find it and you'll improve because you want to do it. That's the best part, you know? And I, I just like, I just feel like if you force yourself to, to like something, it just won't work out. You, you got to let it come in naturally, you know? Like, just because, you know, you see a lot of people playing soccer or like baseball doesn't mean you're going to like it, okay? Even though that's the trend, that's the hype. If you don't like it, you don't like it. You can't force yourself to like it. But maybe you like painting. You know, it's just like it happens. So it's not fair to say you don't have anything you're good at because you just haven't found it yet. You just need to find it. Like literally just find it. Talk to people. Okay. Look on the internet. Maybe go to social gatherings. Go to like a party or some shit like that. You know, talk to someone. Talk to people. You know, maybe at your, your workplace. Talk to people at your workplace. Someone is bound to give you an idea of what you could do. And that idea is probably something you haven't tried before. So you may as well just do it. Because why not? You might even find your future profession. You know, who knows? What if your future profession was like... Oh my god. I'm, I'm, I'm going to say the same example. Being a, like a doctor or... Okay, I don't know why I said doctor. A musician, for example. You know, how would you have known if you never tried, right? Analysis paralysis. So, get off your ass. Search up skills and interests. Try to find if you like it. And if you do, put all your time and effort in it. And if it doesn't work out, there are millions of options. That's it. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.